Last week, the founder of a growing Nova Scotian chocolate company who came to Canada as a refugee from Syria became a Canadian citizen. And we're very excited to welcome the Peace by Chocolate founder here tonight, Canada's own Tarek Haddad. <laughs> Tarek, thank you for doing thank you. this. All right, thank you for having me. So you fled your native Syria and lived, lived in a Lebanese refugee camp for That's three right. years. Yep. And then you were sponsored into Canada. And then you arrive in Halifax in the middle of the night in December, and I assume you then wonder, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> that must have been a shock, looking out the so doors. So much, yeah. To be honest with you, I have to say that Canadians are very smart. Mm -hmm. In every single way, in every video, every picture, every article, everything you see is between May and October. <laughs> Chocolate was in your blood, right? That's right. It's a family tradition. It's been there for 30 years in Damascus. But my father graduated as a civil engineer and he went to a wedding. He found that everyone was happy when they were eating chocolate. He gave my mom a box of chocolate and no. they fell in love. I was born because of a box of chocolate. That is the most so. romantic thing ever. Yeah. Now, the Prime Minister is a big supporter of yours. He gave a speech at the UN about right. you. He congratulated you on your citizenship. He gave your chocolates to Nancy Pelosi. Is Justin Trudeau too clingy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever like, bro, I, I need my space? You had your, your citizenship ceremony on Wednesday. Yeah. What went through your mind when you were being sworn in as a Canadian? Nothing is more Canadian than being sworn in in the middle of January on a snowy day. Right? <laughs> so they wanted you to have that experience. But really, I was thinking of all of Canadians who have um, sacrificed their lives throughout decades and centuries so we can have that level of quality of life and peace and safety. Uh, there's a citizenship test. What did you score on the test? Uh, 20 out of 20. It's 100%. What yeah. a nerd. Yeah. That's amazing. So the first thing you said you want to do as a Canadian was uh, by a Tim's with a Toonie. Why that? Looney Toonie Double Double is the first three things about, I heard about Canada. <laughs> Looney Toonie Double Double. That's what they said to me at the embassy. So, That's what they said at the embassy? Yeah, I, I meant... Who's the hoser at the embassy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a couple things you're gonna know, eh? Looney Toonie, uh, Double Double. That's yeah. wild. Now, your, your chocolates have also been to space. It has been to the International Space Station, yes. An astronaut from... Uh, NASA, Dr. Andrew Fustel, uh, his wife wanted to surprise him, so she sent chocolate in his package to the space. And when he opened it, he found our maple leaf chocolates. You come to this country, and then the next thing you know, your chocolates are in space, really pissing off the Milky Way bar people. <laughs> now, I have a traditional Canadian gift for you, okay? This is something that we Canadians give each other. This is a gift you would give someone that you don't know very well in Canada. What is it? Have a look. Chocolates. <laughs> it's a box of pot of gold chocolates. <laughs> now, I have a second gift for you here. And you got, uh, you went to an Ottawa Senators game That's and right. they gave you a yep. jersey. That's right. With your name on with the back. We have a picture yeah. there. Yeah. But you live in Nova Scotia, so you're gonna need a Mooseheads jersey. Oh. Number 22. Speaking of gifts, everyone in the audience is getting Peace by Chocolate Bars. So congratulations. Thank you. So, Rick Hat everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.